Oh dear, oh dear. What a mess that is. You reckon I could bend that back? Oh, oh yeah, Jesus. Okay guys, we've got an RTC on. Are we taking the DAF? Uh, no. Are we taking the Nissan Navara? Um, no. Yeah. We are taking Ford Transit Beaver Tail. Reasons being it's a Vauxhall Corsa. It's got a front flat tyre and a back flat tyre from it in the curb, but the wheels are still facing straight. Let's go. Don't want any fags that are twisting. Auto mechanical, that's not us. Face mask, nah. Yuck. What else can we get rid of? Don't need that. Lighter, don't smoke, that's good for you. Seat covers, there, come here, come here, look at these old manky seat covers. See them? Look at that! Oh, fucking hell! We don't need that. Oh my god, that's a brand new fucking transit. Fucking get that in fucking wheelie bin. Let's take this one off and all. Oh my god. Literally, it's like a new van. Gloves. Remote. Remote on. Empty screen wash. Or the ice. Yeah. Another condom. Don't want them. No protection. Somebody's t-shirt, not today, thank you. One of those, no. Spare light bulb, not really. Isolator, that'll probably operate the winch. Don't need those, don't need that. But what we have found is some very expensive, valuable, heavy duty cable ties, we will keep them. Oh, that looks good. I'm going to be on a couple of bits of wood. Wood is good, wood is good, wood is our friend. And the cap used to be blue. Maybe. You know what? what a shit piece of timber that is. That other piece of timber is going to put nails in your customer's fucking car anyway, so you don't really need that. Do we need an Atlas? Nah. <laughs> Shorter PPE round here. You have to do that. That's us ready. Just going to do a quick test of the winch. Get my couple of bits of timber I'm going to chuck behind here with no nails in. And then we're on our way to Buxton. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. Over and out. Later in. Load our remote. That should be alright for a little Vauxhall Corsa. Got ourselves a nice auxiliary drive belt there. I think we're gonna have to get rid of that for the purpose of this job. I think it'll be okay winching it on anyway. Um, yeah, anybody want any IKEA flat pack? I'm sure that would not have been auto mechanical's way 100%, definitely not. But hey, I guess if it works, it works. But if that stuff gets wet, it's spongy and it's soggy and soppy and horrible. That won't get past the fucking ministry. Look at that, fuck it out, boy. Will the transit make it up the hill? We're in the top of Staffordshire Moorland up Buxton. Gear 5 flat out, we are going down and down. You have to be a gear 4. Come on girl, 2 litre turbo diesel. Down to 40 mile an hour. We're still climbing. We're still climbing. Yeah, I think we're doing alright. We're staying at 40 in gear 4. Oh, my ears are gone. <laughs> oh no, still got more to go. But the angle won't show it on that camera, but my god, if anybody knows Buxton, it is steep. Come on, girl, you can do it, you can do it. Hey! Some of the peaks up there, I don't know if you can see it. Lovely place if you're a naturist and you like walking. Absolutely fantastic. Can't say I've ever walked it, but I'm always happy to drive past it. You know, we have time for walking there. So, yeah, we're going out to this 
Vauxhall Corsa in the Ford Transit recovery truck that we just picked up yesterday. The reason why I'm going out in it, he said he had a little bump, but I think he's hit a curb, he's got a front flat tyre, he's drove on it, so it's now quite a flat steel rim from what I've been told, and he's obviously got a back tyre that's flat. Obviously if I went out in the Nissan Navara, I'd either have to fit a spare if he's got one, or swap the front driver side wheel to the back left wheel. Obviously, beauty of having this little beaver tail truck, I can just get it straight on as it is. Might have to use a couple of planks of wood because I don't know what the angle is going to be like with the Vauxhall Corsa in the front lip. It might be a little bit close to catching. But until we get there, I don't know. But this is personally the best vehicle for the job. Yeah, we should be there in the next 10 minutes. Ask how you are, boss. Oh my god, not that my front family. one. I'm not worried about it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, what a mess that is. You reckon I could bend that back? Oh, oh yeah, Jesus, that was the bumper. That's not too bad, that's all right, isn't it? Just purely on that one side, isn't it? The curb bar, no dramas. I'm about to get here from up Drive. Oh dear, no worries. Job on. Look at that. What a mess. What a mess. Winch just made it. 
Okay, that is the Vauxhall Corsa loaded up. As you can see, it's a mess, but could also be a lot worse. Looks like they're gonna probably need a new steel rim and obviously just a new tire for obviously the front and the back. Should be an easy fix, generally speaking. That winch though, she only just made it. She only just made it. More of a bit of a, a sample with the truck, really getting a bit of a test, you know, so. The vehicle did drive, it probably could drive up, but it'd be a little bit awkward and a little bit risky. So the winch just about made it, coming off will obviously be a lot easier anyway. And I must say the loading angle, considering it's got two flat tires, and I only put the planks of wood down just as extra support, but yeah, really good. Can't complain with that loading angle at all. Uh, vehicle fits on nice and snug, still room a little bit at the front and still a little bit at the back. So I'm assuming if we do have an estate car that weighs less than 1500 give or take, you know, it's just gonna be a little bit of overhang. Um, but the ramps go in nice and easy on the bed, so even if you have got overhang, the ramps are still slotting nicely. So yeah, very happy at that. If you do like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe for more premium content at GDB. The Vauxhall Corsa completed. Jobs are good in. A lot of the big boy firms often uh, shy out about little three and a half ton beaver tails and that, but personally, they're a good little money maker. They run on fresh air, they don't cost much to run or maintain, they're absolutely fantastic. Obviously, yes, this one looks like a bag of wank because it's orange, but it's going to get painted, it's going to have a new beacon and a new winch when it gets delivered. And it'll look the absolute dog's danglers. So, I aren't scared of driving a little three and a half ton beaver tail. I started up with one, I'd happily finish it one if I have to, you know. Great tool. And like I say, it all goes down to the operator of how you do your jobs, if you keep it professional, or if you just chuck one or two straps on and fuck off. Four straps or nothing at all. You know, you've got to do the job right, stand out from the rest of the crowd. Be a four strapper, don't be a two strapper or a three strapper like the big boys. Do it right. Um, on the way back now from Buxton, got over an hour's travel time, absolutely ridiculous, but hey, you know, if people need help in so far remote areas, somebody's got to do the job, and I will always travel to help. One, when you need us most, and two, if you pay the price. Uh, thanks again for watching. Other than that, that's it. This is a wrap. See you on the next job. See you later.